Hi, I realize I talk way too fucking much. If you're here just for the build, go to the description, I should have a timestamp there, click on that, and you'll go right to the build. Other than that, it's just me talking and showing you how to build. Thanks for watching. Hello! We're going to be doing the Volcanic Eruption map on Nightmare Hardcore, and specifically we're going to be doing it for BF Drills, and in order to get a BF Drill from this map, you need to beat it or complete it with a Ranger or a Huntress, and you know, all the costumes and skins that you know, go with that character, but the build I'm going to be using is in pretty much AFK build where you sit on top of the crystal with monkeys and rangers and all that crap, but that's like the generic standard build, but not many people know how to build it, so I'm going to be doing that today. For builders, you're going to need an Eevee, not using a monk because, you know, the ores will get killed by the lava, LTs, we're going to be stacking them, you're going to need good traps to kill ogres and trash mobs, and a summoner to draw aggro from other things. Also, you're going to be using a physical beam to uh, to block things, so you might want to have some points invested in your... Uh... Oh, that's not the right character. Invested in this guy. I have a lot of HP, so they can tank things. Smart. Okay, so I'm going to be going through the build really, really slowly. Well, you know, as slow as I can before the time limit runs out. I think it's like a two and a half minute build time, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh yeah, for characters. With, uh, with an emulator, you can bring in, you know, your main character, which is your mouse and keyboard, and then three alts with your other parts of your keyboard, being the uh, arrow keys and your numpad. For the extra characters, I'm going to be bringing in a ranger, you know, with fuck tons of damage, and a pretty good supreme monkey. This one's from Stone Thor. Thank you, Stone Thor. And uh, I'm going to have him in the entire time. And then... The rest of the time, I'm going to be on my... Well, it doesn't matter which character, I just... I'm going to have a character, or a jester with max wheel, and a good cat. I don't need the uh, the range to be really high, because I'm going to be sitting straight next to the, uh, the ranger the entire time. But this guy and my ranger are going to be damn near AFK. Semi-AFK. But he's just going to be wheeling. And then, last wave, I'm going to add in my traptress. I'm going to switch over from the Jester to my ASMR chicken gun, just for, you know, the extra hunter slot. And then this guy. His name is BF Drill Slot. It's kind of obvious what he's used for. And that's four characters, or four huntresses, and I should be getting a good BF Drill at the end. Not a good one, just a BF Drill. So for the build, we're going to be starting off on our Eevee. Nightmare Hardcore, by the way, for the best of BF Drills. Well, you always spawn on this spot, if you're host. So you're gonna go on your Eevee, dude. Pick this up. You're gonna run down this way over here. All the way over here. Pick up this chest. And then, if you look at the map, we're gonna be right about here. You're gonna put down a beam on this wood piece. Or do you beam? It fits perfectly on it, because that's where they want you to build it. Good job, Trendy. And then you're going to put a 5DU beam, or a fizz beam, right about there. As long as you block off this side, you should be fine. Once again, we're on this part of the map. Okay. Now, we're going to run down the hill, this way. I'm running very fast because we're not going to have enough time to build everything if I slowly walk around. Okay, for here, just put down a 4DU in the middle of this path, doesn't matter where. It's just, we're gonna put traps on it, and like, I think two spiders? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you're gonna get that chest there, these two chests here. You're gonna run down this way. Grab this chest here. And this chest over here. And then jump onto this launch pad. And then we're gonna switch over to our Huntress. Builder Huntress to be exact. And then we're going to run down this way, turn left, run down this way, on the mini-map. You're going to put down a darkness trap, and an ethereal trap. You're going to run back up the hill, or not up the same way, but the other side. You're going to put a darkness, and an ethereal trap again, and another darkness trap. Right about here, just a, you know, darkness trap on the spawn enemy spawn over there. Run all the way back up top. 
switch over to your apprentice. Oh yeah, you're also going to need an apprentice with a genie on. All of my builds feature this. Not really featuring it, but you know, it, it has it. You're going to stack all the rest of your DU and lightning towers on this side of the buff beam. If you put it right here, ogres can walk up to here and smack it, but if it's right there, they can't reach it, so that's good. Oh, also, bring in your ranger. You could have done that at any point of your time, but as long as you do it before the first uh, combat wave, you're fine. And all new characters spawn on the uh, on the crystal, so just, just leave them there. Alright, so we're going to mana suck right away and upgrade that beam. Upgrade that beam as fast as you can. If you don't, you're going to be in a, in a sticky situation for the most part. Not like it's a horrible bad thing that it's not maxed right away, but the faster you max it, the safer your build's going to be. So max it, and then jump off the edge over here, get to this beam, and then you're going to want a Manda Bomb as fast as you can. Gertie Bomb. And uh, you don't even need to max it, you just need to get over here to purity bomb this side. See, it, it got hit because it got overwhelmed of enemies. Overwhelmed by enemies, my bad. I can't even English. Because the monkey doesn't shoot fast enough and clear the map fast enough for it to be able to defend this side and this side. So that's why you're on the apprentice guy. Well, yeah, you have to do it on a... Uh, well, you don't have to. It, it's easier to do it on a... Uh, on a female apprentice, I forgot what her name was. Initiate? No. Countess? No. The other one. No. Yeah. Don't mind my rambling. Um, so you're pretty much going to want to go over here and mana bomb that as fast as you can. I keep saying mana bomb, but I mean purity bomb. I also get that mixed up a lot. But you're going to purity bomb that as fast as you can to clear, like, most of the map. Oh, don't forget to stack the rest of your lightning towers. Don't forget. I forgot, but don't forget. And the last thing you're going to build are minions. Minions aren't that hard, you just need to remember where to place them. And like, the the map is like the hardest part to build around. Because look at, like, you're stuck in rocks. You're just going to put down a spider on that side, spider on that side. That should kill ogres, hopefully. Then you're going to scroll your thingy up, build on this side, you're going to put a mage on the buff beam. You're going to put a spider up against this wall, and then up a little bit you're going to put your archer, you know, but I, I can't put it down because I have to get closer to it because the ceiling is kind of low. That's it for necessary minions. You can start off now, you know, switch to your jester or whatever the character, but I like clearing the map a bit faster, so I'll put a couple archers on the railings here just so they kill wyverns. Doesn't matter how many. Maybe like six. Eh. Nah, five's fine. And then, also on the map, you're going to try to want to get as close as you can. Here, let me get there first. You're going to want to get to this path here. See on the, uh, on the map? This, uh, this one. And then it, you're just going to put down a couple archers, a mage, and a spider. Just to kill the uh, extra enemies that walk by here. Because at the end of the waves, usually there's a bunch of mobs walking around, but they walk from this spawn here all the way around. And that gets kind of annoying. It's also really slow. But that should be it for minions. And look, it perfectly maxed defense units and minion units. Now that's a good build. Wow, top tier. And you can pretty much just AFK the rest of the, uh, the match. And then every wave roll heal just in case, you know, some archer might take ungodly amounts of damage from a copter or something. But if you have, I want to say decent stats, like 5k across the board. Not across the board, but like top 5k, then sides 2k. If you have those stats, you should be chilling. And you don't need a really good monkey. You also could be like, you know, shooting DPSing and stuff. But I have a cat here with me to boost the monkey's damage, so he's hitting like 5 mil per shot. That should like 2 shot ogres, just about. So, you know, it's pretty good. 
And uh, if you look at the, the mini-map, the bottom right side over there is getting fucked by an ogre. The minions should be able to tank it. Look at that mage is almost dead. They should be able to tank it a little bit, but remember, you can just roll heal or something. I'm just gonna roll whatever. Doesn't really matter. I also fucked up my wheel, so I'm saying that as an excuse, but the mage can heal himself. Oh, and you're also going to, like, actually need to roll heal after a bit. So if you look at the LTs, they should... Oh, they're not damaged, actually. Damn, my towers are good. But usually, by the first wave, you build them, they get smacked by, like, an ogre spitball or something, or, like, a wyvern goes up to them and bites them once. But then after a couple waves, it gets pretty difficult, and then your, uh, your lightning towers get fucked. And you're just gonna, like, want to roll heal every now and then. Not like a huge deal, it's just better if you do. Oh look, the shark can just move the uh, physical beam out of the way. Do I want to go up there and help it? Mmm. Nah. It's not really important. Well, it kind of is. But it's also not. But it kind of is. Uh... Also, I'm pretty sure you're going to be doing this with a bunch of other people. It's okay if those minions go down, by the way. Like, if you do this with other people, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, because, you know, you're going to have, like, multiple jesters or another ranger or something sitting up there. But, just in case, since I'm soloing this, and I'm also very bad at building maps, I'm going to fix this. Oh, look, I didn't even put it the right way. I'll just put that back. That's pretty funny. <laughs> but, pretty much, just gonna do this. It's not really... It's not too difficult. This map is a lot easier than people think. You just need to make sure... Make sure this spot right here, on the mini-map, that doesn't go down, because then this clusterfuck of enemies is gonna go down the hill and, you know, screw you up. And make sure... Oh, this doesn't really matter anymore. Little, on the mini-map. That doesn't really matter anymore since we passed it. But you just do this and AFK the whole time, you should be... Well, you don't need AFK. I'm just saying you can AFK to show that you don't really need to interfere with the build, like, completely to make sure it works. Like, as long as you're, you know, going around shooting things, you can beat this map a lot easier than just me sitting here doing nothing. But, it's not too difficult. The hardest part's getting the build down the first wave. Is if you remembered, I jumped down and I didn't purity bomb fast enough, and the crystal got smacked. So if you're doing this build, like, you know, verbatim, as much as I did this build, then you're going to want to get there a bit quicker with purity bomb. Also, you're not going to be narrating. And you might have multiple people helping you build. But... You know, it's it just depends on the situation and whatever's. All right, I'm gonna be going through the entire build, like the entire uh, map, so don't mind that. I'm probably also going to edit the video, like not cut the video. I'm just gonna. I'm going to play through the whole thing, but I'm going to edit the video, so in the beginning I'm going to say, like, you only need to watch the beginning part of the build, where I max out both to use 70 and 46 part, or 70 and 70, but, you know, the other bit you don't really need. Probably just going to say you can watch that and then dip, because it's not really important that you watch the rest. It's just me going through the map, showing you that, hey, this build works. And it's going to take like 20 minutes total, I think. Maybe. I am going pretty damn slow. Oh no, my buff beam went down. That's at the, uh, the spot over there. It's because the, uh, the lava's going down and it's burning everything. That side should explode, and then you'll lose more DU and whatever. 
Like, if you want, you could probably put down more, uh, more lightning towers, more, more traps everywhere. But it's not really necessary, since everything down there is going to get killed anyways. You can just kind of roll with it. It shouldn't matter. And once that side gets blocked off, the only thing you need to worry about is this side. Uh, if you look on the mini-map where the uh, sword's going. The spawn here spawns a bunch of ogres and whatever, and this side also does the same. It'll spawn the all funnel through this side. Usually when you have six people, uh, I usually run this with, you know, randoms and stuff, and I'll say, can someone be on a monk to tower boost and whatever? They'll sit on the lightning towers here and boost this so it doesn't go down. But I'm just going to go over there and repair it, just in case. See, look, it's getting smacked. A lot. Did the archer die? No, he's chilling. It's probably an archer on the, uh, on the bridge that died. I'm not going to shoot anything, just going to repair everything, just to kind of imitate what a really crappy tower booster would be like. I don't want to bring in mine. He's like, I think 6k tower boost. That'd be a little overkill. So I'm, I'm just going to repair things. And, you know, also wheel to heal things. But, that's kind of it. Uh, last wave, I'm going to add in more characters. The other two characters I'm going to add in don't have uh, DPS pets. And I'm also going to be switching to another Huntress that doesn't have a cat. So it's going to make this a little bit harder for me, but it's going to be, like, if I'm able to do it with that, then anyone else could probably do it with 6 AFK rangers on the crystal with monkeys. Oh, I'm also going to turn up this, uh, this beautiful music. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Nah, uh, I think that's a little too loud. There we go. It's a little more subtle. It's kind of loud, but you know, it's fine. It's just AFKing and upgrading and stuff. I would sit on here with a uh, ball blaster and make this build kind of like an AFK lightning tower thing, but not many people have ball blasters. Like, I, I know it's just like, oh wow, how could you say that? A lot of people have ball blasters, but people who need to watch a build like this probably don't have a ball blaster, so that's why I'm doing it like without it. Oh yeah, if you don't know why the ranger and the monkey's on here, it's to kill things. It's kind of obvious. But, you know, ranger to get the BF drill and monkey to shoot things, I guess. Not too difficult. Oh, this is what I meant. Um, I think I don't remember if I said it but earlier on. I said that these guys might get fucked by the uh, by the copters. Sometimes the copters are far enough to where they can shoot the archers, but the archers can't shoot them. And that's kind of what the lightning towers are for. It'll you know chain all the way over there and hit them, but not often. And if anything, you could probably just wheel and kill them all. Oh, uh, let me add the other characters in. One second. Adding in my builder and adding in the extra dude that doesn't do anything. Oh, my archer fell off. Or the one with the monkey. It's really funny because every single one of my characters has the jump on the same button. And as long as the ranger is on there with the uh, the monkey, it should be chilling. But like the other characters don't have DPS pets, so it doesn't matter if they die. Sorry, I'm gonna keep the uh, golden roost on my troll character, but it has like a DPS pet and a tot. Or not DPS pet, it has a DPS weapon and a tot. No, oh, I shouldn't shoot, that's kind of cheating. Not really. Cheating for my standards of cheating. Which is doing anything besides AFK for the most part. I'm still going to be upgrading though. So nothing should be coming down from that way besides ogre copters and wyverns, but most of the ogre copters go back down there for some whatever reason, and they'll just get killed by the lava. Just watch out for wyverns, I think it's like, what, three that spawned there? Last wave? This side's like the only way, or the only side you need to worry about. Because if you have a ranger with a monkey... Oh my lord. If you have a ranger with a monkey, you should be like facing off that way, you know, shooting that way. If you have more rangers with monkeys, they should be killing all the wyverns and all that crap. 
but sometimes the monkey likes to shoot anything that's not the ogre. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna get smacked right now. Almost. Well, I'll just sit here and make sure the ogre doesn't kill it. But if you have more than, you know, one monkey, you should be able to kill the ogres really fast. Yeah, that's kind of it. Oh, don't worry about that. Crystal shouldn't go down. It'll be super duper close, but it shouldn't go down. Ogre spitballs don't hurt the crystal. Neither do uh, the ogre copter shots. That ogre's very fast. and might smite the crystal a little bit. Okay, just trash mobs. I can probably go over there and just kill them all. Yep. Let's see what we get. Oh, BF drill for the video? Probably not. Oh, it's just an armor piece. Ooh, where even was that piece? I don't know. That's a nice mythical drill with 111 ups. It's a nice myth with 46 ups. Nice myth with 80 ups. A nice myth with 200 ups. Wow, great. That's cool. Well, uh, that's it. That's like the whole thing. Let's see what time it was. 18 minutes, 11 combat, 650 build. I could probably cut this down to like a 10 minute combat and like a 2 minute build time. But I was going really slow just to, you know, show off the build pretty much. But, yeah. That's, that's the whole thing. Comment, like, subscribe, show to people that don't know how to build this map so they can build it themselves and not complain about not having BF drills. And if you run this as a pub, people join, you know, just to leech and get BF drills, but they'll sit on top of the crystal with a, the ranger monkey. So if you if you need a BF drill really bad, you can just do that. And it's not that big of a deal. Or just go to my shop, or anyone else's shop that, like, farms this map. I usually keep a bunch of BF drills in there for people who don't like farming this map, because it is kind of an annoying map to build. It takes, like, a build wave and a half. AFK time, but you know, whatever. And, uh, thanks for watching and stuff.